something that a possessed doll would do. What's up guys, welcome back to another Warframe video. Today, I'll be going over another guide to help you guys out. You know, the beginning of the game could be kind of confusing and they kind of throw a lot of weapons at you um, that you might not be familiar with. And some of you might have questions like which are the best weapons in the game or which are the best weapons to start off with in the beginning of the game. And that's what this video is going to cover. In the beginning of the game, you kind of choose your Warframe and as it goes through the tutorial, it has you choose out your primary weapon, your secondary weapon, as well as a melee weapon. But before I go into the details on the weapons, uh, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I'll be uploading daily videos. Um, I, I play mostly Warframe, Fortnite, and a bunch of other games that I'll be uploading to my channel. But I just want to say thank you and welcome to the new subscribers out there that joined the squad. I just want to say I appreciate you guys and I, I just can't wait to see what the road has for us. But this update is going to be crazy. Um, if this video comes out after the update, I hope I'm playing it on live with you guys. So let, let me just go ahead and finish this video. Starting with the MK1 Bratton. It's a rifle that can be used at any range. It deals primarily slash damage. So it's good for going through or slicing through enemies. And what they just now discovered is that if an enemy is sliced in half, you have double the chances of getting, you know, the loot that dropped from them. It has good accuracy, low recoil, and an extended clip with a good fire rate. It's a good primary weapon to use. I, I used it when I first started off with the game. Um, so I would consider equipping it for the initial missions in the game, but other than that, it has low base damage and a small chance for the status and crit. But in the beginning of the game, you don't have to worry about getting critical chance yet because the enemies aren't that strong enough to require you to be that strong. So you can go ahead and choose the Bratton because it's really fast to plow down enemies. The second primary weapon they offer you is the MK1 Paris. So it's a bow. It's a good choice for stealth missions and to deal large amounts of damage to a single target. Um, so I wouldn't recommend using this weapon against larger groups of opponents. Uh, it deals piercing damage, so it's effective against armor. It's good. It has a good chance of critical damage and a good chance of status chance. So a charged arrow can also pierce through opponents. So when you shoot it, you can actually see the enemy get stuck on the wall. Um, the downsides of this weapon, though, is that it has uh, is weak when it's dealing damage against shields. Moving on to the secondary weapons, uh, they give you the Lotto. The Lotto is an accurate pistol and is useful at any range. It is also a good choice for a starting weapon. It has large slash damage, just like the MK1 Bratton, and a good fire rate. It has low recoil, a quick reload, and good accuracy. So it's a good you know, backup in case you run out of ammo with your primary weapon. Its downsides are that it has a very low critical chance and it deals small damage against shields and armor. But once you get into that health, that's when you start seeing the true power of the weapon. The second secondary weapon they give you is the MK1 Kunai. These are throwing knives. So these are useful for silent missions to partner with the MK1 Paris. So it has quick reload. It's silent so enemies won't hear you when you kill other enemies. And the knife takes a certain amount of time to land uh, to the enemy. So you, if you see him walking, you might have to like predict in front of him in order to hit him. The bad sides about this is that it has a low critical chance and uh, bad status damage. Moving on to the melee weapon, we have the Skana. The Skana is a sword offering low damage and low chance of critical damage, but it has good slashing damage and it's very effective against the infested and some of the corpus enemies. Compared to the MK1 bow, the Skana offers an average range damage and attack speed, so it's a good well-rounded weapon that will be perfect for beginners. On the other side, we have the MK1 bow. The bow is like a staff that, you know, you just you can deal some serious damage with it. It has a large range and a low attack speed when compared to the Skana, but it does very good damage to the enemies. So for your melee weapons, I actually don't mind which weapon you choose. This, uh, this is kind of like a free ball. Actually, out of all the weapons, you can choose whatever you want. But for melee weapons, I have like no favorites because they're both really good. So 
these are your starter weapons um I hope that my guide can help you decide what weapon to choose when you get to that part in the story or when you're starting off Warframe. Um, I'm going to be going and making more guides that go in depth to like late game material, but I just want to make sure I cover like the beginning stuff because there is this learning curve and I do want to make these videos to help you guys get like that visual image on how to beat the game or uh, progress through the game. But thank you guys for watching my video. I appreciate it so much. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. If you are already subscribed, thank you for watching uh, this video. I appreciate your love and support to the channel. And yeah, comment down below what your favorite weapon is in the game right now. And I will be sure to reply to any of you guys' comments because um, I'm interested. You know, a lot of players use unique weapons. But yeah, these are the starter weapons. I hope you guys have fun and I will see you guys in my next video or live stream. You guys be safe and peace. Oh.